We all hate losing data in Excel. So here are four ways to recover your unsaved Excel file. I've handpicked these four methods because they have the highest probability of bringing your data back. Also, towards the end of this video, I'll tell you how to prevent this from happening in the future. And please, for the sake of your data, watch that too. Let's get started. So the first method applies if you didn't save your file. So let's say you worked in a file for a couple of hours and you simply forgot to save it and then your computer crashed or something like that. This is how you get the data back. And it actually might be possible. So open up a blank Excel sheet and go to file. Then go to options and from here, click on save. And here, if this check mark is checked, that says keep the last auto recovered version if I close without saving, if that is checked, you can go to this location on your computer and perhaps find your file. So copy this and then go to any folder on your computer and go up here, click here once and then insert the path you copied. Click on enter like this. And there you will find all the auto saved versions of your spreadsheets. So these are all the changes you didn't save. They're in here and you can click on them and try to open these files to see if that's the correct one. So experiment a little bit with opening different versions and see which one is the most recent version. Just double click it and we'll see if it's this one. And if this is the correct version, I can simply save it. Please remember to do so and work with it again in the future with hopefully most of my previous changes still intact. Now, this is another typical way of losing your data. So you are working in a file and you say, you make some changes like this, and then you either have autosave turned on or you haven't and you simply uh, click to save the file and your old data is overwritten but you actually need that old data, the new things you edited and changed, that's not the correct version you want to work with going forward. You want the old version, but you don't have it because you overwrote it. If you are using OneDrive and storing your files there, you can actually go to uh, onedrive.live.com and log in there, navigate to the folder where you had the file, click here and click on version history. And from there, you are hopefully able to recover your file. So here you have the file as it is right now, but over here to the left, you can see the current and the older versions. Now you can click on those like this and then wait a bit for it to load. And then here you have an old version of the file. This is actually your, the, the oldest version. Maybe it's too old. Let's click here instead and see that now we have the old data, not the new data that I just changed a minute before, but the old data. And if I want this version, I can just click here to restore or click here to download it. And this will, the restore button will simply bring it back to the folder where I saved it as the old version instead of the new one. Or if I download it, I will have an option to save both of them. So I both have the old version and the new version. And this is a pretty neat feature in OneDrive. If you don't use OneDrive, there's still a chance for you. So navigate to the folder where you have the file, right click it and click on properties, then go to previous versions. And if you are lucky, then it might be here and you can just click it and click restore. Now, this is definitely not as bulletproof as using OneDrive or Dropbox or something like that. So I highly suggest that you use, especially OneDrive because it integrates so well in Microsoft Office. I really recommend that you use that both to safely store your files in the future, but also gain benefit of some other co-authoring abilities. I've talked about that in another video that you can see if you click the link. So the last method to recover your file applies if you have deleted your file. And here are a few things you can do to get it back. When you delete files on your computer, they typically end up in your recycle bin. So navigate to your recycle bin and try to restore it from there. If you don't know where your recycle bin is, because that can apparently be quite hard to find on some setups, I have a link for you in the description where you can read more about how to finding it. So navigate to your recycle bin and right click on your file. If you can find it here, right click on it and click restore and that should remove it from the recycle bin 
like this and put it right back here where it belongs. Unfortunately, if you permanently deleted the file, that's another option when you uh, delete files, then you can't bring it back unless you use some kind of third party tool that uh, don't work all the time either. So if you, instead of just click and delete, like, like if I click delete here, it ends up in the recycle bin over here. But if I instead hold down shift and click delete, then I'm asked to permanently delete the file. And if I do that, then it won't show in the recycle bin, no matter how many times I refresh it. But there's actually even an exception to this because OneDrive has your back. If you permanently delete a file in a OneDrive folder like this, then if you go to OneDrive from your browser, you can click on the recycle bin and actually find it here and restore it from there. So again, I highly recommend saving your files in OneDrive or other similar software like Dropbox or Google Drive. As always, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So I'll tell you all about that in a few seconds. But if you like this video so far, and hopefully if you've recovered your Excel file, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below. Thanks. All right, so how to prevent this from happening in the future. Well, one thing is really important. If you don't have OneDrive, you should uh, in Excel, make sure that the auto recover feature is turned on, is enabled. So click up here in files and go to options and save and make sure there's a check mark in here. And you can even narrow the window of having unsaved data by lowering these uh, minutes here. So every second minute now, Excel will save whatever I've done here in the background so I can actually recover it again if I uh, accidentally close the file or my computer crashes or something like that. So this is the way to go if you don't use OneDrive. But if you do use OneDrive, then instead you navigate to your file in OneDrive and in this case, it's this one over here. And all the way up to the left here, you'll see auto save. Make sure to enable that by toggling it on like this. It should always look like this. And while it does, you can work and do whatever you want in Excel and every action you take will be saved. And obviously if this feature overwrites something you didn't want, you can always go back and restore it from a previous version in OneDrive through your browser. There's another feature in OneDrive that will revolutionize the way you work with Excel with your colleagues at the same time. Click here to watch that video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.